Hi boys and girls, welcome to Art with Georgie and the Into the Woods Art Project Collection. I cannot wait to get started on this very sweet little red fox that you have chosen to do. Now, this little red fox, up close, he has a heap of little fairy textures and that is something that you guys are going to learn when we go through this project today. Step one, we're going to draw our little red fox outlines. Step two, we're going to fill the background with an into the wood scene. Step three, we're going to paint the fox and do a whole heap of layering with our watercolor paints. And step four, we're going to finish off by painting the background. Now this little fox is, um, sits with a collection of other woodland projects. We have a brown bear ready for you to go ahead and try and also this painted canvas vintage camper. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. But right now, I wanna go through the art supplies with you to start our fox and make sure you download the lesson resources for the really cool printable drawing guide for our fox as well. I will take you through the art supplies now. I'm going to be working on a piece of A3 art paper and I have my oil pastels for some outlines. I am going to be using some new opaque watercolors. Now these are called Creamy Colors by Zart Art and they work exactly the same as watercolors but the, the color is opaque and not so transparent. You could also go ahead and use some tempura cake paints that look like this. This brand called Poster Colors by Zart Art is really cool and they come in a whole lot of different color palettes. So if you have those, you could also have these as an option. I have my medium round paintbrush and water jar and as an optional extra, I'm going to show you how to do a few extra details with these super soft gel pastels. I have a pack from Faber-Castell. You could also do little details with your oil pastels if you have them. That is all we need. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is a really sweet little fox drawing that we are going to start with with our black oil pastel. Now take a look at the drawing guide to follow along. I am going to put my hand right at the top of the page, just here, and just take a look at where my thumb is. I'll put a little dot there because this little dot is going to be the top of the fox's head. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to move my oil pastel over to the side of that dot and here I go I'm going to draw a line that comes down I'm going to go in like a V back up just like that for the side of my fox's face then I'm going to start back over here and I'm going to do a little ear with a triangle I'm going to go across 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 another little ear for my fox and I have now done the fox's face okay now let's just Put a little nose, you can color in a little black nose at the bottom. And now I have a line to go to, so I'm going to start just up here. I'm going to curve down and connect to that little nose I just drew. I can do the same on the other side. I'm going to start over here, draw a line and connect to my little nose. Now this little fox, he needs two little eyes. I'm going to draw a little black circle on one side also on the other and I don't know if you've noticed but these little foxes have little black tips on the top of their ears so can we go ahead and color some little black tips now boys and girls you have done the head of your fox are you ready for the little feet okay, now let's just leave a little bit of a gap underneath the nose I'm going to start about here and I'm going to have a line that comes down and bump, 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 bump for a little paw and then just back up. I'm going to do exactly the same over here. So I'm going to start with a line that comes down. It can curve in a little bit if you like. Bump, 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 bump and then back up. Now these little foxes have black little socks on so I'm just going to draw a little wobbly line towards the bottom of his foot because I can color these in black. Let's finish off this little fox's body. I'm starting right back up near the cheek. 
I'm going to come down, 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 and around to connect to the body. I'm going to start at the other side of the little paw. I'm going to curve around and then go back up. So we have a little fox, boys and girls, and you can decide to put a tail here or maybe here. Maybe the tail, if you've got space, could even kind of come down around the front. But let's see, for me, I've got space over here. So I'm going to start just at the side of the body. I'm coming around and sort of in a bit of a curve like this. And then I'll connect up here and curve it around there. I'm going to just finish off with a bit of a zigzag because I need a little white section on the top of his tail. Now you know what, we have finished with drawing our fox. But here's a little extra tip for you. Because we're using black, I'd love you to get your finger and I would love you to smudge all of the black outlines of your little fox. Now this is just going to add a little bit of texture and um, this will look really fun when we paint over the top. We're kind of giving the idea that our little fox has a little bit of furry texture on him so you can just get your little finger really smudge it in I'm not going to smudge here because this part is going to be white and so is the um, the tail so I don't want to smudge too much just a little bit in those white sections but whenever you're drawing furry animals with an oil pastel you can always smudge the little outlines before you add um, your watercolor paints or however you're coloring it in. Okay, now just this little tip, I'm just doing a little, little bit of a smudge there. Okay, now, now we are ready to go ahead and start some of the background. So we have some trees happening over the background and we're going to do a wobbly line at the base first. So just a wobbly line. So our fox is sitting on the ground and you can draw maybe some leaves like they have been fallen on the ground like it's the middle of winter or autumn maybe just some um, really simple leaf shapes maybe even a mushroom if you think that could look great and if you've got space anywhere on the background if you can fit them um, let's see maybe one's poking off the side of the page just here now let's go ahead for some trees so one tree for me is right at the top. I'm going to start at the top of the page. I'm going to come down and I'm going to make this little tree have a branch. Can you do a tree with a little branch sticking out? And this one is going to come all the way to the bottom. And I think maybe one tree can go right behind him. Just there. And I could fit another branch over this side. So maybe I've got a really big branch and I'm going to finish that off with the tree that is going to go all the way down the side. So I have two trees and then one in the middle. Now trees are really rough with lots of bark texture. So I'd love you to get your oil pastel and do some wobbly lines on it. Not too many, but we just want to give the idea that this tree has a really bumpy texture of this bark and you can start with some curve lines for the little knots in the trees and you can see there's really no right or wrong way but this little wobbly line feature really adds some detail to your tree so i'm just doing some lines in a little bit of a circular direction for a knot on that tree maybe they're a little bit curved where the tree meets this branch and I think this is going to just set the scene for a beautiful into the woods little scene where this fox is sitting. You know what? You have finished with your oil pastel. We can put that away and grab out our paints. <laughs> 